It's a go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sean and Nate uh, are posted up on the island that's mid-rapid, and they're doing kind of a challenging little carryover to get over the island and run the bottom stretch. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give, I got the uh, whitewater canoe here, so, you know, um, I didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna give her a shot and uh, see what happens. <sighs> Come on, in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. I threw it back. So, took a few casts there, caught a ton of small bass, but we're continuing downriver down this fun little swift here to uh, 
what should be hopefully a little honey hole. What do you think, keep? This one's not bad, man. This one's like a half pound. Might be pretty tasty. Like, uh, it's pretty small. Fuck. I'll keep the next one. I don't know. There we go, baby. Finally. Got a nice one on here. Oh my god, I lost it again! Three big bass that I lost. That one stole my worm. I swapped out my hook. <sighs> Damn it. So upset. <laughs> There's a keeper. Caught one keeper. Devastating. I lost three nice ones, including one big fatty. So that sucks. Anyways, uh, it is what it is. I'm just going to kind of move on, see if I can catch up with uh, Nate and Sean and maybe circle back to the spot a little later on. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's a good one. That's freaking north of two. But hopefully, oh yeah, she's coming down pretty hard. Hopefully it doesn't last long. <laughs> it's only raining over me.
So uh, I've managed to get pretty much outfished by uh, Nate and Sean, um, which is actually kind of good because this is my spot and I want these guys to believe me. And if they're doing as badly as I am, then they probably would never come fishing with me again. So uh, Sean caught one walleye and uh, three or four nice smallies. Uh, Nate caught a nice smallie and I caught one small smallie and lost a bunch. So we got a walleye in there, baby. And we have enough for a shore lunch. So um, as mentally challenging as it is for me getting uh, outfished really quite miserably, um, I think there's enough fish to go around for everybody. So that's good. So at least some, some of us did well. Got a nice walleye in there. A lot of just perfect keeper sized bass too. Courtesy of uh, Nate and Sean. <laughs> Oh yeah, they like them too? Yeah. Nice. And I'll them and I got the uh, two brookies on the Tim River. And it almost looked like like some giant leech or something, so I kept tugging on it and freaking muskrat came out on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> I just filmed the muskrat over three feet from the other. Cool. The last, the last person that lived here, there year round died there. Catching some nice, good size ones too. It's a red lake. It's good. Yeah, yeah. You put a spot like that. But he just goes out and fishes, pulling. It just seems to be a little like overpopulated, man. Oh yeah, like I haven't been there for years, but no. We we did it. Um, we used to go do our canoe trips. At the day school was at an Alexander. We would come. That was the only time I've ever seen. Yeah, I was gonna actually ask you for some of those squeeze things. And those are perfect. I have those. Those are good. Yeah. Let me pick up another map. That's a, that's a big, that's a hot topic though, right? Eh? Yeah. It's just tiny home, everything she's doing is that. I'm not, I'm not really, I would do stuff like that if I was any good at it. Anybody have another plate to put these? I did get a lot of footage of me being like 120 frames per second. <laughs> Either pickled hot peppers or pickled hot sauce, literally every day. Oh wow! So we go through. I don't right. know because I've never grown them and done that. But I'm growing yeah. whatever meat. Yeah. I mean, then some of them are good.
this your pan? Yeah. Uh, oh, are you okay with me putting some of that in there? I'm yeah, yeah, cool. it. You're okay with that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how anybody ever had any dogs. Right. When you're and, you know, and they melt it when you're trapping that, that heavily too. You know, the, the distance is you have to travel and the amount of your dogs need to eat because they're getting so much exercise, right? Yeah, yeah. And you. Yeah, how yeah. was it? It's harder to say that with you, but mm -hmm. it's just so bony. You can't even I've never had a fish I don't like. Really. Yeah. That looks like it might be walleye there, no? That's what I'm wondering. Not compared to my other ones, but it still did like consistently well. You know, so it was worked out pretty good. Something probably like what, two years ago when I like one night. Wow! Well, yeah, okay. we'll step over a clean stream to come and drink the muddy water and walk the flavor in. Yeah. Okay. are going back up river <laughs> the shirt I'm wearing is pretty bright blue actually it's meant to camouflage with the sky it's really great material that wicks away sweat and all that kind of stuff but it doesn't really work when it's overcast anyways yeah we're going up uh, back up river so the way you go up river is you get into the back eddies and that's where the current kind of travels back up river usually along the edges and so yeah i'm basically gonna paddle up a back eddy and that second rapid i ran i'm gonna wade and drag it up one side the opposite side from where i ran it and then the swifts we had a couple nice swifts too same thing paddle up the large back eddies and then uh you know just drag it 10 20 feet through the shallows and jump back in um, so luckily the nature of this river is sort of pool and drop so we can actually do that go on go on go on go Front of the boat, go on. In the boat. Go on, go on. Good boy. Good boy. Oh yeah, there's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe a, maybe a pound. Not quite. Hit pretty hard though. This one's a little different color too. Yeah. Oh. Throwback. Yeah! Nice! All right, well, Nate made it up this rapid. That was pretty good. I'll take it. Well, that is about it. Uh, got on the water today, probably about 7.30. And uh, right now it's probably about 5.30. So good day on the water. Uh, had an awesome, awesome shore lunch. A little challenging because uh, we had to go back up river after coming down river uh, just because there's no other access points uh, from down river and uh, you know basically long the short of it is we did a little extra work to get to the the good fishing cold snap last night made things a little more challenging but uh, Sean managed to do quite well with uh, several nice bass and a nice walleye. Nate caught a couple decent ones. I caught, you know, a million fish, but I couldn't believe it. I lost what guaranteed would have been the biggest fish of the trip and a couple other beauties, which was a little devastating. So you probably get more footage of me swearing than uh, cheering, but uh, managed to catch a, a few decent enough ones and a lot of numbers. So that's fun um, and good to spend some time with friends. So yeah, still have a little more upriver travel to go, but uh, pretty much uh, this awesome little fishing trip is coming to an end. So Nate, how was that trip, buddy? Blast. Yeah? Yeah. How good were those fish? They were super tasty. Yeah, well thanks Jim for inviting us in. It's a good trip. No problem. Lots of fish like you promised. Nice short lunch. You did a great job cooking that food. Well guys, thanks for coming. Yeah. That was awesome.